Welcome to this episode of Island by Film. My name is Wes. Today we're going to be talking about a very new sling bag that I just purchased. This is actually a replacement to my previous sling bag, which was the Peak Design uh, Everyday Sling 3 liter bag. This is the Bellroy Venture 6 liter sling bag. So uh, double the capacity apparently. Um, so let's see exactly if it's possible to load this thing out with everything I need for our upcoming travel trip. But let's go through a few features on this bag first. So first and foremost, material wise, it's got a really, really nice Nice durable uh, ripstop type nylon. Um, this has got a, almost like a, a bit of a honeycomb kind of design to it. It's kind of two-toned a little bit, even though it's green. It's got a bit of a two-tone look. I like that. It's got really nice zipper pulls. You can see right here. That's fantastic. Uh, it's got a kind of a waterproof zipper design up here. Nice and sturdy soft soft webbing for the actual sling bag itself so it should be really really comfortable to carry let's just get inside this bag and take a look at a few features on this bag so let's open this front zipper right here you have a full uh, space in here to fill out you've got a uh, key hook or key um, leash i guess you can call it right there uh, you've got two mesh um, uh, mesh uh, pockets right here as well too if you open up the inside of the bag this is kind of a neat feature. The zipper goes both ways. You can see right here, you can get a really, really nice wide opening on either side here. You can actually pull both these zippers back this way. Do the same thing this way. Really nice wide opening. So you can access all the pockets and, and, and every space inside of this bag. So speaking of pockets, you have one nice large kind of mesh, easy access pocket there. You've got uh, two insert pockets right here as well. You can see one here, one here and you have a large rear pocket right there. And then of course you have the main compartment in here. So I'm gonna go through and uh, try and load it out with all the little things that I'm looking at bringing with me on this trip uh, to Europe. So let's take a look and see what we can fit inside this bag. So first and foremost, um, it's important. We've got a 10 hour flight ahead of us. I'm gonna bring the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I've got uh, uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in here. So I'm only about 40 hours into the game. So there's still so much more game to play. It's a great, great, great uh, thing to kind of keep you busy while you're on a long flight. Uh, I've got the protective case here, the actual Tears of the Kingdom special edition protective case. I'm gonna slide this in the bag um, as all one kit. So let's just see how this fits seems to fit pretty good fits kind of right towards the back of the bag here giving it a bit of structure so that's that's great okay so from there camera gear of course number one important thing while I'm on vacation make sure that I capture uh, um, all the candid and candids and memories and street photography that I'm looking at capturing I'm shooting with the Fuji X100V this is my beloved camera can't say enough about this camera shooting JPEGs out of this thing with Fujifilm recipes is absolutely amazing so Got the metal lens cap here. You can see I've got the Peak Design clips. Um, maybe I'll talk about this camera a little bit later on. I mean, I know this has been talked about at nauseum on the internet, so maybe I don't need to, but just to kind of have an idea of what I'm shooting with. I'll slide this right in here. You can see it'll fit right in that side pocket there, right in the main pocket. Next thing I'm going to be bringing is the lens hood to go with it. Now, because of the depth of the lens hood on, on the lens, it just doesn't quite fit in this bag. So I figured what I'd do is I would uh, um, keep the lens hood right in the side pocket. So when I'm shooting with it, I can obviously pop it right on and take it right off. And realistically, the Nintendo Switch is going to live with me on our flight. Uh, but once we hit our cabin uh, on the ship that we're staying on, I'm going to, I'm going to offload that into the uh, safe once we arrive there, so no big deal. And I'll have more space in the bag at that point then. Next, I'm gonna be adding a couple of batteries as well. There's also one in the camera, so that's three batteries in total. That should definitely take me through um, a day or two days. I'm gonna slide those batteries right in the opposite side here, one at a time. I'm gonna slide this open so I can take advantage of that. Slide it in there, both sides. I've got batteries pop right in there now. Next thing I've got is the newest purchase to my kit, which is the which is the DJI Action 2. Really, really excited to get some footage with this, some POV footage. Um, so I actually got a little bit of an X100 um, uh, bag here that uh, uh, I got with my with my camera. So I'm going to just slide that in here, fold it up. Actually, fits perfectly right here. I'm just going to tuck that right in the side there. Now from there, I've got uh, my Peak Design strap, my neck strap, that's gonna go right in, the, in next to there. I've got uh, my uh, 
10,000 milliamp um, Mophie uh, battery bank. This battery bank is quite nice. It's actually, not only is it very, very functional, it's got a bit of an indicator light here, as you can see, giving you what the um, actual charge is left on it. I think it's dead right at the moment. I'll have to get this charged up. Uh, but it's also got a really nice linen texture to it. So it, not only is it functional, but it looks good too. So I'm gonna slide that right in there. That fits perfect. I can actually just charge right in the go there. Uh, from there, I've got uh, the uh, lanyard mount for uh, the, um, the uh, DJI Action 2. I'm gonna tuck that in. I'm actually gonna fit that right in this top pocket right there tuck that away and then I've got a couple of accessories like my uh, lightning to SD card adapter that's gonna slide right in there I've got my uh, USB-C cable there will also be a lightning to USB cable in here as well because I need to make sure that I have that Let's charge my phone speaking of phones I've got the iPhone 13 um, just the regular old iPhone 13 love that it's, it's more than enough for me it's actually filming this video right now I've got my AirPods. These are second gen AirPods. These things have been around for a long, long time. I mean, to get the job done. Would like noise canceling at some point, but but anyway, it'll it'll work for me. I'm actually gonna tuck these in the front pocket there. So they're easy access. Okay. Got a, a really nice uh, microfiber cloth for cleaning lenses. This one's a little bit bigger. You know, some of the other ones are, are quite a bit smaller. This one, I, I quite like the size of it. So this will work really good for me for not only just lenses, but uh, my glasses as well. And it's really nice and light and compact. Um, I'm actually gonna tuck that right in the top here as well. From there, I've got uh, some of my own personal items here. I've got, um, got some chapstick right there I've got um, some Tums I've got uh, this is a little pill bottle with uh, Tylenol in it and some allergy medicine I'm gonna tuck those right in the front here as well too so they're they're easily accessible from there I've got my MagSafe wallet this is actually gonna be attached to my um, actual phone itself so I'll leave this off to the side there so it's not gonna be going in the bag unless you know when I'm when I'm at port, like I mentioned before, I'm going to lose the uh, um, the switch because I'm not going to be needing this to walk around with this. This is just really for travel days. So um, in that, f from that point, I should be able to actually slide my iPhone in here as well and, and make things easy. I'll also have my passport in this back pocket here as well as um, I've got this uh, coin purse. It's got a, a bit of a ghost lanyard bead on it. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's great because just this just pops open and you can fit all your your cash and your coins in here. It's just easy to access. Just nice to keep things all separated and nice and clean. You don't lose that those 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 coins. So that'll tuck right back there as well as my passport. Um, I've got a field notes book. Field notes books are super super important to have. So. I'm going to actually uh, slide that in there. So in, in order to utilize a field notes book, uh, um, I need to actually have a pen. This is a really neat pen. There's a tiny, tiny pen. It's called a Pilot Birdie. And uh, I like this pen a lot. Uh, it, it comes in clutch when I need a pen. So I'll slide that right in there and takes up very, very little space. From there, I've also got um, this is a really uh, neat SD. Uh, pardon me, USB uh, thumb drive here. It's a lightning, you see there, it's a lightning port to USB-A. So this is great because I can actually use this to backup files on my iPad Pro or backup files on uh, my iPhone. Um, I keep some important documents on here just for travel, like uh, like a digital copy of my passport, those kind of things. Uh, that's all on this as well. I think this is 256 gigs, so it's definitely a lot, uh, big enough size. Um, we'll tuck that in there as well too. I'm gonna zip this up. We've got a couple of really uh, important things as well. I always like to keep a flashlight. You never know when you're gonna be in an emergency situation and you need to have a flashlight. This one here is fairly basic. It's metal and sturdy, but uh, but it's uh, made by a brand called Coast. Wouldn't mind updating this at some point for something a little fancier, um, but I mean, Honestly, it gets the job done when I need it. So uh, this will live in this front pocket as well for me right next to my my AirPods. And then last but not least is my Gerber Dime. This is just a really, really great multi-tool. The Gerber Dime is tiny. 
Uh, it's got a bunch of different tools on it. It's got, of course, the pliers that you can see there. It's got a small knife. It's got, uh, it's got a, a bit of a can opener there, I think. Um, it's got some scissors as well. Like, look at those cool little scissors. It's great. Um, and it's got a little, I think that would be a bottle or a can opener of sorts. Or no, that's a kind of a flat screwdriver. There's a little nail file and um, all sorts of little tools here. And last but not least, the most important thing, a bottle opener. You never know when you're going to need to have a bottle opener to get a nice bottle of beer open. So that'll get tucked in the front pocket of that of there as well. So I'll zip that up. Now, I said last but not least, but this is also something I like to keep with me. This is a uh, uh, more of a fidget type item. This is a, a DIY uh, NUC that I made. I designed this in some 3D software and then I printed it with a uh, 3D resin printer, give it a bit of a metallic finish and it just fits perfect. So it's got that really nice NUC design, that NUC feel and just sits there, it's perfect and it's actually really great for flipping. So it's nice to play with, just kind of a, a, a bit of a um, something to keep around. I'm gonna tuck this in this back pocket. I think I'm gonna fit in there or maybe what I'll do is I'll slide it right in there. There we go, there we go. Now, so let's close this thing up here. As you can see, it's actually fairly manageable. It's got some weight to it, but I mean, there's some items in here that maybe I won't carry every day, but you when know, we're traveling overseas, it's nice to be able to have what you'd like to have um, on you at all times. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is my uh, new Bellroy Venture six liter sling. Uh, I like this thing so far. I haven't really tested it out. Maybe I'll do a video down the road giving you a little bit more uh, of my opinion on this bag. But uh, so far, I mean, it's fit more than my previous uh, Peak Design 3 liter uh, everyday sling. So, I mean, I'm, I'm all game for it. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, once again, this is Wes from Island by Film. If you get a chance, consider subscribing. Please like this video and uh, leave a comment or two. I'd love to hear from you.